Hi and welcome to Data Coder. In this video, I am going to discuss how to customize a report appearance by adding title and footnote, by adding uh, descriptive column headings or column labels, or by using different SaaS system options. So, if this is your first time, then please subscribe to the channel for more uh, videos on base and advanced SaaS programming. Let's get started. So the title appeared at the top of the report and footnote appeared at the bottom of the report. The syntax is proc print data equal to data set name and by using the title statement or footnote statement, we can add different uh, title or footnote to the report. Let's go to SAS and check one example. So I have a data set in SAS self library which is a class data set. I will try to print that data set. Proc print data equal to sas help dot class so here i have not specified any uh, title to this report if i'll execute this program i got this report and there is a title printed this sas system so this is the default title if i don't specify any title in the report the default title which is this sas system this will appear in the report now i can add my own title to this report so if i want to add a title title one i'll report my first report with title one so this is the title i have specified now if i'll execute so the default title uh, is changed uh, with my title what i have given my first report with title one so let's see the, some characteristics of title or footnote. So the first characteristics is a title appears at the top of the report and footnote appears at the bottom of the report. The default title is the SAS system which we, ha which we have seen now and the maximum uh, number of title we can give is 10. So like title 1, I can specify title 2, title 3 like that. The maximum I can give as a title 10. So now if I will execute, I got three titles, my first report with title 1, my first report with title 2 and my first report with title 3 is uh, three titles. Title without number is title 1. So if I, uh, you know, uh, don't give the number to the title, then by default it will be title 1. Title remains uh, effect until they changed, cancelled or end the session. So here in this report, I have uh, given this title, so this title will uh, remain effective to my next report as well. So until I change the title or cancel the title or I, uh, you know, uh, end my SAS session, this title will be effective. So let's uh, print another data set, proc print data equal to SAS help dot by one data set is there. So if I print this uh, data set and here I have not mentioned any title but my previous title will appear to this report. Okay. So uh, once my reporting is done I need to uh, you know cancel those titles. A null title cancel all the uh, title. So if I will give a null title then it will cancel all my title. There is no title. So this is how we can uh, you know give title and the same thing will be applicable to footnote as well. We can give maximum 10 number of footnote and by uh, using a null footnote we can cancel all the upcoming uh, all the above footnotes and the footnote will be effective to the next report until we we'll, uh, change them or cancel them or uh, we end our SAS system. So next is if we are changing a title then what will happen? If we are changing a title, then it will replace the previous title with same name. So here I have title 1, title 2 and title 3. So if I will give a title 2 again. So let me define my title 2 again, my new title 2. So if I am giving that, then what will happen? it will replace the previous title with same name. So whatever the title 2 I have defined previously, this will be uh, you know uh, replaced by my new title 2 and it will cancel all title with uh, you know higher number. 
So, if I am changing title 2, then title 1 will be unchanged, title 2 will be changed to the new title and whatever the title which is higher than title 2 will be cancelled. So, title 3 will be cancelled. So, let us see. If I will execute now, my title 1 is my first report with title 1 and the title 2 changed to my new title. So, the title 2 changed to my new title and title 3 got cancelled. So, whenever we are changing a title, the pre any previous title with same number will be replaced and all higher number of title will be deleted or cancelled. So, in this case, title 2 got changed and title 3 got deleted. So, this is how we can change a title and same thing will be applicable to footnote as well. So, now if I want to cancel all the title, then I can give a null title statement, it will cancel all my title. In the same way, we can uh, you know apply footnote as well. So, this is about title and next is, this is about title and footnote, next is how to give a label or a split equal to option, we will be seeing. So, by assigning label, we can change the column appearance. So, the uh, syntax is proc uh, print data equal to data set name and here we need to specify the label and the below in the label statement we can specify the labels we want to give for each variable let's see one example so here this is my data set so i want to change this uh, name to student name okay my name uh, uh, variable name is name and I want to give a label to this variable name as a student name. So, what I can give here I can give the label and below I can define the label. Label name equal to student name. We can specify more label as well. So, to the variable sex I will uh, give the label as gender. So, now if I will execute this the name has been changed to student name and the gender has uh, sex column has been uh, changed to the gender okay so the maximum length for a label we can uh, specify is 256 character and the label what we are specifying over here those are uh, temporary those are not permanent because while creating report we are giving this label but if i'll go to the data set and check it it won't store so in the data set we won't have any label. So, if I will go here to the variable name, there is no label. So, we are not permanent, uh, you know, changing the label in the data set. Instead, we are just providing the label while creating the report. So, this is how we can keep a label. And next is split equal to. By using split option, we can split the, lab uh, split the label into different line. So, here uh, I need to specify a character, split character. So, here I am giving asterisk to the split character. And wherever in the label it will find the split character, it will split that label into multiple line. So, here in the first line I want this G E N and in the second line I want in the D E R. So, if I will execute this, here if you see the gender label has been splitted into two lines. So, here the first uh, student name has been also splitted, but this is the default. By default it is splitting, it is not because of the split option. Sometimes if the label is big, it will split into multiple line, but by applying the split equal to option, we can also split the label. So, this is how we can give a uh, uh, descriptive column headings or label to the report to customize our report output. This is all about label or split equal to option. Next is SAS system option. So, uh, by using the SAS system options also, we are going to, uh, you know, customize our report and this options uh, statement is not included in a proc or data step. These are the, you know, uh, standalone query and we can write it anywhere in the report. So, it is it's better we can mention it in the starting of the report. So, the syntax is options and whatever the option we want to mention we can give. So, we are going to see some of the options over here and in the upcoming videos when we will uh, learn more about report 
when we learn about how to, uh, how to do uh, you know report in details there we are going to learn more uh, options so let's see some of the options the first option is the date okay in the report if you see uh, here the date is appearing over here but if i don't want the date to be displayed then i can specify the option no date so let's check options no date so now my date is appearing so if i'll execute this code now the date is not appearing so by using no date option we can uh, you know remove the date uh, path from the report so the next is line size and in the line size we can specify the line size width of the line and it will you know specify the line size for the sas log or sas output next is page size and in the same way we can uh, give the space uh, page size it will specify the number of lines that can be printed per page of sas output next is number or no number so this no number is the default it specify the page numbers be printed in the first line of each page of output okay so this number is the default and no number uh, you know we can specify if we want to give so here this number is specifying if i give no number then it will go there is no number now in the same way we can give this option page number and it will specify a beginning page number for the next page in the sas output so in this uh, in the same way we can use uh, some more options as well and while uh, you know uh, studying the report procedure we are going to learn more about the options so that's all about today and in my upcoming videos i am going to discuss more about base and advanced sas programming so stay tuned and happy coding see you on the next video